Hi, I'm Angus Netting, the Director of Adelaide Microscopy at the University of Adelaide. At Adelaide Microscopy, we house the university's collection of light, electron and confocal microscopes. These microscopes magnify cells and allow us to see greater detail than is possible with the naked eye. Think of microscopes as really powerful reading glasses. Preparing tissue for microscopy varies depending on which type of microscope is being used. However, most tissue preparation is a three-step process. First, tissue is preserved to stop it deteriorating. Second, tissue is cut into thin slices to make it easier to see inside the cells. And third, tissue is stained so that its components can be viewed. The simplest microscopes are light microscopes, often called optical microscopes. Light microscopes have been around for over 200 years. They use beams of light to magnify the cells by more than 100 times. Here is an image of a cell viewed by light microscopy. Whilst light microscopes make it relatively easy to identify the nucleus and cytoplasm, not much else can be seen. Electron microscopes, like this device, are larger and more powerful microscopes that use a beam of electrons rather than a beam of light to produce an image of a cell. Transmission electron microscopes can magnify specimens by two million times, making it possible to clearly identify the internal structures of a cell. As you can see in this image of a cell viewed by an electron microscope, it's possible to see individual organelles within the cytoplasm, like mitochondria, as well as chromatin in the nucleus. Scanning electron microscopes are special electron microscopes that have greater depth of field and provide us with an almost 3D image to study. This scanning electron microscope shows the surface appearance of the plasma membrane of a cell. Finally, confocal microscopes are special microscopes that use lasers to reconstruct in 3D the appearance of internal components of a cell. Cells are usually labelled with one or more fluorescent probe to give internal structures bright colours that are easier to see. For example, in this confocal image, microfilaments in the cytoplasm have been tagged with a fluorescent green probe. To summarise, microscopes are essential scientific tools. They magnify tissues and enable us to study and interpret, often in incredible detail, the inner workings of cells.